Super massive black holes. I blew the minds of my high school classmates during a speech my sophomore year. I began with, at this moment, we are all fighting against the Earth's gravity while speeding around our sun at 67,000 miles per hour. But a black hole? Its gravity is so strong, nothing can escape its pull. Not even light moving at 670 million miles per hour. My name is Brenda. I'm a 33-year-old female. I am an athlete. I run marathons and play soccer. My favorite color is purple. I wear makeup, enjoy pedicures. I race motorcycles. I also have a passion for math and science. As a college physics teacher, my students are often surprised to see me the first day of class. I am not who they expected, because I am not the stereotypical image of a physicist, and I love that. I don't look like Albert Einstein, and I certainly don't act like Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. And I can't help but notice that my physics with calculus students are predominantly male. Sometimes, I have no females in my courses at all. These are the students that plan to pursue a degree in science, technology, engineering, and math. While the percentage of women in STEM has increased, today, women still hold less than 25% of all STEM jobs. Why is that? The gender gap comes in adolescence, when young women begin to avoid STEM fields that so many believe are only for men. But collaboration is the foundation of STEM research. Diverse teams will incite innovation. Most of us have heard the popular notion that men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Women do offer a different perspective, and we approach the solutions to problems differently than men. Having more women in STEM will lead to new ideas and new inventions that can improve all of our lives. So what can we do right now to recruit and retain the untapped talent of women for STEM professions? The answer is early STEM exposure, career awareness, and female mentors. I was encouraged by my parents and identified by my teachers as having an interest in STEM from a young age. I grew up playing with my older brother's Legos, building blocks, and construction toys. It was his book on black holes that first sparked my fascination. As a family, we would often visit the Chicago Museum of Science and Industry and the Planetarium, engage her early and often with STEM concepts outside of the classroom. Girls are natural-born scientists. Just like little boys, they look at the world around them with inquisitive eyes, experiment, push boundaries, and learn by doing. I have always been curious about how things work. I can remember when the light bulb first went on and I understood how a car engine operates, or building my first electric motor. I was amazed the first time that I generated electricity using only the motion of a magnet. Science, it's like magic, but real. <laughs> Girls are interested in STEM. It is our responsibility to give them a positive early experience. Physics should be fun. Don't laugh. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Um, but an after-school STEM club that allows young girls to just explore, have fun, and that's led and championed by a female teacher can make a huge difference. When I speak to the females in my courses about what led them to choose their major, it is almost always a passionate teacher who had a profound impact on them. Teachers influence, and teachers make a difference. But let us all be aware of the messages that we are sending our young girls. 
Before the movie Hidden Figures, how many of us had heard the name Katherine Johnson or were even aware of the female African-American mathematicians who served a vital role in NASA during the early years of the U.S. space program? Did you know that in 1969, the first ever Computer Science Man of the Year Award was actually given to a female by the name of Grace Hopper. She was a true pioneer in computer programming during World War II, or since it began in 1936. Did you see the headlines when Miriam Mirzahani made history in 2014 as being the first female to receive the Fields Medal, known as the Nobel Prize of Mathematics? We need to stop ignoring and start celebrating the many achievements of women in STEM. These stories inspire. Over the years, I have learned that girls are passionate about social, environmental, and health-related issues. But without career awareness, we'll most likely not know how these interests can translate to a job in STEM. STEM career days can inform girls about the variety of occupations available. Having a strong knowledge base in STEM subjects will give girls the opportunity to access any career path they later choose. Math was the foundation that I needed to excel in physics. And when I later became captivated by one of the most complex electric circuit systems in our entire universe, the human body. It was my graduate studies in applied physics that allowed me to develop an updated mathematical model for measuring the magnetic field of a damaged nerve in a patient using a less invasive technique. But throughout all my years in school, I never had a female STEM mentor, someone I could turn to when I was feeling intimidated, alone, or lacking confidence. It was during these times that I wanted and needed to hear from another woman in STEM about what motivated her, how she overcame challenges, and how she got to where she is today. I can truly understand why so many capable females fall out of the STEM education pipeline. And it breaks my heart to think how easily my passion for science and my desire to share it with all of you could have been forever lost. A new study from the University of Massachusetts found that 100% of female engineering students remained in the program after the first year if they had a female mentor. 89% continued with no mentor, and only 82% continued with a male STEM mentor. There is power in having role models who prove that female success is possible in a male-dominated field. The representation of women in STEM is a national workforce issue, but one that we can begin to address at the local level. I propose a STEM program for girls in grades six through eight. As part of this program, female STEM faculty at colleges and universities would form a partnership with the local middle schools to plan one educational session on campus each month. These experiences will establish the connection between education and future careers. Parents would be involved with career awareness and planning events. Local industry could provide female speakers who are practicing STEM professionals in the community who could also provide that quality mentoring. Academic decisions made in middle school can open doors to STEM career paths. We can empower young women through STEM education. Generations ago, women had very few choices of occupations. Today, women can do and be anything. Choose to compete for the high-demand, high-paying STEM occupations that allow you to create, design, invent, and change our world. You've got to have a dream. 
If you don't have a dream, how are you ever gonna have a dream come true? My name is Brenda. I am a college physics teacher. I have the privilege and joy of explaining the rules of our universe. I am a woman in STEM. Thank you.